everybody, it's Ruth here with a slightly different type of video. It's bringing you some of my lovely cards that I got for my birthday last month. And I've included the uh, non-handmade ones as well as the handmade ones because um, my friends obviously know me quite well and know what I like. And I've loved all of them. They are so beautiful. And I'm probably going to keep them in my craft room and um, refer to them to get some inspiration for different cards that I'd like to make. So there's this one here, and I love all these kind of um, coral colours going into the yellows and the butterfly and uh, these kind of like little elements in the background here. And we actually have a new stamp coming in the new annual catalogue that's kind of like a hydrangea looking stamp, and I think this would lend itself to that. Then there's this lovely one with the pink blossom, and this just reminds me of that gorgeous uh, set, the Colourful Seasons one with all the lovely blossoms and things. Then there's this one here, another butterfly one with all these beautiful butterflies and it, I just love looking at these types of things to get colour inspiration and looking at them and going oh right well I could use mint macaron or I could, I could use um, you know that new purple colour or the pink and and so on so it's always lovely if you have a card that you like that's been gifted to you to kind of get inspiration from it before you throw it out or give it away or upcycle it. Then there's this one here, and I love the kind of 70s feel to this. It it, it just is just so me, this card, and um, all the lovely florals as well in this. And so I'm I'm probably going to keep this for quite a long time because I, I love the kind of, and the movement in it as well. It's it just really beautiful. Then this card here, now I believe this is a print, this is a from a print, and this is from a lino cut by Emma Holden. So I think this one was from my sister-in-law. Um, and she lives in Bristol around some really cool shops from local artists and things sell there. So this is lovely. Look at this beautiful lino cut. And it's basically, it's it's stamping where someone's made their own stamp and then they've repeat patterned it. So that, again, that's another inspiration for me that it's okay to have a repeat pattern in a card. You don't necessarily need to kind of worry about having a focal point and then little bits off to the side. You can just do repeat patterning. And this is just lovely, this beautiful little deer in the, in the snow. Now this floral is really lovely and unusual. It's very minimalistic and if I was to try to recreate something like this, I think I'd I'd overthink it and and I don't think I could do it. So I'm really in awe of this because there is a balance to this design and um yeah, but yet yeah, at the same time there's there's contrast and there's colour and then a really interesting use of black and white. So um yeah, I'm really quite inspired by this. Who's this? Oh this is a oh, good old Marks and Spencer's that one. And this is a lovely colourful hair. I do like hairs, and um, especially when they're done like this. Really fun. I love the colour scheme on that. That beautiful water colouring. And then this was just a really fun one from, from a friend. And again, it's a reminder. Have fun. You know, have fun with your cards. They don't necessarily have to be serious all the time, or floral or whatever, which is what I like. Um, but, you know, a nice fun, fun thing to cheer my day. Right, so this was a card from a customer of mine and I know she's really particularly loved doing one sheet wonders and then cutting them up like this to create this beautiful kind of collage effect and I love this, so pretty and I recognise some of these stamp sets in there. So thank you. Uh, this is from a Stampin' Up! friend of mine and she gave me uh, a gift in a, a lovely bag that she made and everything's coordinating so we've got the coordinating card with the coordinating bag there and this is from one of my team members and she makes these stunning uh, cards that are um, she, she gets commissioned to do them and very personalized and she knows that I love flowers and so that's why she she's put all these beautiful florals in here for me and she also knows I like these stamps as well so thank you so much I love that one uh, this is from a another Stampin' Up! demonstrator who I got to know via social media. I've never met her in real life, would you believe? But uh, we communicate quite often. So thank you so much for this one. Lovely colour scheme. One of my favourite colour schemes. The greens and the purples in there. And lots of different... Um, yeah, lots of different elements to it. But really lovely having that focal point around the, 
the sentiment there. And she's got her, her own um, uh, her own stamp as well that she's used on the back. This is a lovely, very clean and simple card. Uh, this is from a lady who I've got to know over Facebook and met once, I think. Yeah, at a Stampin' Up! event. So thank you for that one. Really, really beautiful. I love the contrast of the stripe against the floral. Always like stripes and florals together. And this one is from my sister and my downline. Um, she's used the orchid, st orchid stamp here to create a Z-fold card and then put all these lovely or orchids there and coloured them in and lots of layering and really, really lovely. Thank you for that. And then this one came from a demo friend all the way from Australia. Again, not met in real life, but uh, we communicate. And um, thank you so much for that. It's beautiful. I love this dotty ribbon. Gorgeous. And then last but not least, it just so happens to be at the bottom of the pile, but um, this is the one that my husband made. And if you'd like to see the video of that, there is one a uh, little bit further back in April sometime uh, where he made this. Um, secretly in my craft room and <laughs> we put it on face oh, on YouTube rather so uh, yeah right so there we go just a little bit of sharing of inspiration for you and uh, if you if you're inspired to make something from one of these please let me know and um, yeah I'd love to hear from you take care for now bye